Hey everybody, it's Bob, aka Haircut Bob, and I'm here, you know, we're kind of stuck inside right now. Coronavirus, social distancing, and I know that people need to get their hair cut, but unfortunately, salons are closed, barbershops are closed, so I know that some of you are going to try cutting your hair at home. And all I want to say is just do it carefully, don't rush into anything. The best thing you can do is just practice first a little bit. Don't go crazy. If you want to cut your hair, you're going to do it. If you want to clean around the edges, you're going to do it. I would suggest to wait a few more weeks until you can get back into the salon and then you can get a proper haircut. Uh, but if you have to just do a few touch-ups or if you're feeling like you just need to do something, then by all means do it, but do it the right way. As you can see, I have not had my hair cut in a little bit because I'm in solidarity with everybody else. I'm not going to cut my hair until uh, everything is cleared up and it can be properly done. But for those of you that can't wait, a couple tips. One, get a good pair of scissors if you can. Don't just use, you know, the, the scissors that are in the sewing basket or the scissors that are in the kitchen drawer. Use scissors that are for, you know, cleaning up a beard, cleaning up your hair. If you don't have those, then just be careful because the other scissors are going to be kind of long. These you can see are short. So the key thing is clean around the ear, but do it slowly, just a little bit. Don't go crazy and do a little bit at a time, because if you go in and take a, too much off, then it's going to have to grow. So just do a little bit at a time, pull your ear down. Don't forget you have a part behind the ear, hold the scissors, and just trim a little bit. You don't have to go crazy and do all of this because you're not a professional person. This is not something you're used to doing. So again, just a little bit, clean around the edges, nothing crazy, just clean around the edges just a little bit, pull the ear down, and just cut on the top of the ear like that. So at least looking head on, it's nice and neat and clean. Holding the scissors properly is key. Your thumb is here, your fourth finger, your index finger is here. So basically the thumb is doing all the work. Remember that. So just let the thumb do the work, hold the scissor in place. You're not doing this. You're just letting the thumb do the cutting. Okay. Don't forget you have a beard. If you have a beard, don't forget you need to trim it up. And I like to wear a black shirt. Of course, I'm wearing a haircut bob shirt. Uh, I like to wear a black shirt. So the white hairs that I have on my face, stand out against and I can see just kind of looking which are the crazy hairs and all I'm doing is I'm just taking a few of those little hairs off I'm not going through and going you know like a like a lawnmower and a yard with a bunch of weeds I'm just snipping a few of those hairs off because just if you do this a little bit every day then it's always going to look neat instead of going through and just going crazy don't forget the top of the mustache here where it hits the lip. Um, you can see I have a crazy hair right there and I'm going to cut it off. Simple as that. Uh, clean around the lip. You don't want to go too high. You want to keep it right around in the middle of the lip. You can see I'm just carefully and slowly, that's the key, carefully and slowly going along these hairs just to make sure some of those crazy hairs are gone. So if you look at a beard long enough, you're always going to see something that needs to be trimmed off. And it seems like 20, you know, 20 minutes later, the hair is back. It grows so fast, but you want to stay on top of it. Don't forget guys, another key thing that we do for you that you might not feel comfortable doing for yourself are your eyebrows. With the comb, have a good comb. You can see it's closer on one side and wider on the other. Just comb your eyebrows straight up comb them straight up and anything that is above the eyebrow hairline that's what you should trim off just those crazy little hairs that are a little bit longer you don't have to go too you know too much but you want to stay you want to keep it nice and clean you want to stay on top of that and now with your hair this is a whole nother story so you know you're not going to feel comfortable grabbing your hair and doing it like we do it so I think just by cleaning around the edges, cleaning the hairline, the key thing about cleaning the hairline is have a mirror, have a hand mirror, turn
turn around before you turn the clippers on because when you're using a mirror everything is kind of backwards and you don't want to go one way thinking you're cutting the hair on your neck when you're in fact cutting the hair into your hairline so you just want to hold this with it off and just get used to the direction that it's going because it's, sometimes it's not easy to figure this out so then with the clipper on you can just gently clean that up and it's very easy as long as you take the time to know the direction that your hand is going when you're looking in a mirror that's looking at a reflection because it can be backwards and then the thing i do on the other side is i do the same thing or i'll just run it down this way staying away from my hair but cleaning up these hairs on my neck that just don't look right and then once you do this part here in the middle you just want to go along here but again get practice for it with it off before you turn it on just kind of get used to that motion use a guard if you want um, and get used to the motion with the guard because then you're not going to be taking too much off and if you feel the urge to have to run clippers on your hair use the biggest guard first because then you can't take too much off and then you can work your way down each time but the key thing is clean around the edges keep your beard trimmed up take care of your eyebrows because you don't want those crazy ones sticking out that's key and then clean up your hairline so it looks nice and neat um, and all this in the middle can grow and it can go a little you know it can get a little bit longer because it's not gonna this is not going to take forever you'll be back in the salon chair or the barber chair before you know it but it's as long as this is clean and this is neat and this is neat then everything else will be fine use a good product in your hair I like to use the amethyst oil that I have a little drop of that tiny little drop of that run it between my hands and then rub it in and then I also put it in my hair just so everything stays nice and healthy so good luck wait for your stylist you know we, we are in just as dire straits as you are we will get through this this is you know we've never experienced something like this before so we're all in uncharted territory but we will get through this life will return as normal before we know it and um, stay safe with your clippers stay safe with your scissors stay safe with cutting your hair and we'll chat again soon. Take care. Be well.